My name is Martin Berg. I'm 16 years old. I really love League of Legends and I look a lot into the esports scene. I play every day, I would say. I came here because I got a wish uh, from a Swedish cancer fund. Martin is, is uh, sick and he has uh, leukemia. And he has been treated, has had uh, quite a tough time. You know, he lost one, almost one year at school. It was really hard. I lost a lot of friends and, yeah. So basically a few months ago I was just browsing Reddit and I saw a post about a Swedish kid that battled cancer. I made a post on Reddit uh, about me getting a wish and I wanted to do something League of Legends related. And he had a proposition from a, a Swedish version of Make-A-Wish Foundation, Min Stora Dag, if I pronounce it correctly. Min Stora Dag. And he was looking to come to LCS, maybe meet a pro player. So I put him in touch with some people at Riot. I mean, he had a number of things to choose from. I was really surprised that he chose this. Yeah, it's awesome to go to the studio. It's, it's going to be so fun. It was really cool, actually. He was so casual and just went around and talked to everybody. I thought it was more like they were hiding backstage to not get too many fans. Uh, going up to them. So yeah, you gonna stay here all the weekend? No, all of no, you? No. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Uh, I did not expect that I would see him so close and uh, talk to him. It's just unbelievable. We got a tour around with shocks. All right, so this is the actual studio where it all happens, where the audience sits, and then where our pro players sit. And I think it would be cool if we just went up there. Just... Morning. Is it hard to shoutcast? Ah, oh, it's very easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the easiest job I've ever done in my life. You can sit in the chair if you want. Yeah. Well, this is the area where the commentators sit. So, as in any other sport, we have commentators during the game who will go, look at that guy, he's gonna go in, he's gonna yeah. grab a kill. So that's what these people do here. I didn't teach my dad to play, but I teach my dad to know more about it. This made me very astonished. They could connect one piece of uh, whatever it was <laughs> with a human player. <laughs> when you can do that, of course, then it gets another dimension in the player. Quickly, Evo Genies is on the last stand. The Shockwave once again used. Crepo gets melted. And Ninjas in pajamas get themselves a second victory over Evo Geniuses. Martin? Hey, man. How are you doing? Hi. 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 Okay. Sorry, we lost. <laughs> it's okay. I think he's so funny and he made it possible for me to come here. So why did you come like last year when we were actually winning stuff? <laughs> Who's the Fnatic fan here? It's bad taste, man. How long do you have to keep taking them now? The pills for another five years. Ouch. And uh, one year to the hospital. Yeah. Like checkups. Yeah. And then you're free. Yeah. And then you beat him. I have a lot of respect for, for uh, any people that survive any illness, especially cancer, that, especially young people that have to deal with it because it, it makes them mature way too much, way too fast. I thought I was dreaming and I didn't think it was real. Take another one. Is it called Minstora Dog? Yeah. yeah, exactly. I'm so good at Swedish, dude. That's the first part. <laughs> so we can get them signed by all the pro players and the NIP as well. <laughs> Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to our final match of the day. That's going to be the Nexus to its going. It's Evil Geniuses that pick up the win against Meteor Makers. After this, it has another meaning, of course. So we, we now understand that why he cannot break up a game <laughs> and come down to dinner. Yeah, that's what we try to do. Random events that take a minute out of your time to make somebody else happy is, is just what makes it worth being a pro gamer.